Here we go. We've got some mullein here with these beautiful yellow flowers. And we have some wild catnip, actually, which is awesome, and chicory here, and Queen Anne's lace. But I'm going to collect the mullein flowers and show you how to make mullein oil. So I'm just going to pull them off. Oops, just pulling them off. And I'm not gonna take all of them. Actually, these are gonna flower more. So there will be more flowers here. It's hard to pick with one hand. So here's my little collection of mullein flowers. I don't have a lot. I'm gonna let them wilt. But I usually make a small jar, like a jelly jar size or less, um, because you do not need a lot of this mullein oil to work uh, for ear infections, and it lasts a while. A little bit of St. John's wort I picked as well, my, one of my favorite herbs. St. John's wort, let's look at this. See the little star and those little stamen with the, um, it looks like a little ball at the end. That's how you identify this from other yellow flowering plants. Let's look at the leaves. Bright yellow, they're the star-shaped petal in these clusters with these little like I don't know, batons or something coming out of the center of what it looks like. How many petals? Five. St. John's word. I put in teas and take for mood and brain function. And the oil can turn into a gorgeous red that works for inflammation and pain and discomfort and stress. Okay, so I'm going to make the mullein oil. I have a little jelly jar with actually leftover garlic oil because mullein and garlic go really well for the ear remedy. And then I'm going to put in my flowers that I dried. So mullein flowers shrink down quite a bit. And it actually takes quite a quite a bit of picking. You have to find a number of plants to have enough to do like half a jar. But I do not need a lot of this. So I'm going to add my oil, my olive oil. And I'm only going to go like halfway. Like that. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to label it with the menstruum which is olive oil garlic infused garlic oil olive oil and mullein flowers and this is plenty probably for like a couple of years uh, for ear aches ear infections as soon as you have that discomfort in the ear you want to use a few drops warm drops um, right away and you kind of massage it into the ear I should do a separate video to demonstrate how to do this but there you go, there's your mullein oil. Let it sit two weeks in a sunny windowsill and then strain off the flowers. And you wanna use cheesecloth and strain any little bits because you don't want bits going into your ear. So you definitely strain this two, three times till you have all the particles.